Hey guys, I'm strapping a helmet on, that's why I'm looking up, putting this strap underneath my chin. Hey, I recently called into an atheist radio station, and I did pretty good. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to tell you about it, some funny things, some serious things, and I'm going to tell you why we're driving and why we're going on the freeway. Uh, i got to get my gloves on here. You guys always ask what type of gloves these are. It's called shift. <laughs> um, shift gloves. When I first got them, they were like really tight gloves, but I like that where it's very snug, and then you know you work you work them in. I um, I'm going to title this video "Atheism Is." atheism is and let's talk about what atheism is and I'll talk about my radio or the time I called into a radio station it wasn't my radio program as you guys know I do one at shockanow.net and click more info by the way on the top right of this video when you're done and there's some very interesting links there especially if you're an atheist you will find them enjoyable um, atheism is as you guys know, I'm not going to get into a long, drawn-out testimonial, but I used to be in atheism, and um, one of the things that atheists will say, and they were saying this on the radio show, is that it's not a religion. Well, let me tell you, from being in atheism, it, it is totally a religion. It's called humanism. Atheism was invented by Satan. If you do the research, like I have, um, you will find that in the book of Genesis, Satan invented it. He invented atheism. <clears throat> now, he actually tells man, mankind, woman, that you can be like gods. You can know what good and evil is. You don't need God. That's basically the message of atheism and Satan. There are uh, some videos you can see even here on YouTube. There's a guy, uh, he's an atheist. Um, I'm really worried about this guy. His name's Coughlin666. And even though atheists will say, oh no, it has nothing to do with Satanism, yet he has 666 in his name, which is all about Satan. We know 666 is the Antichrist, the number of the Antichrist, Satan himself. So, um, so it is derived from Satanism. It's just uh, Satanism with lipstick on. But here's some of the things about atheism I'll tell you. And wow, it is so cool today. It's not all hot like it used to be. It's probably only about 79 degrees right now. When you're in atheism, and I'm going to tell you some things that I, why I left that humanist religion, is, um, First of all, the hypocrisy of it, like they'll say they, there's no absolutes. And if you're an honest person, um, like I am, you know, I, I look at things honestly and it, I had to disagree that there are no absolutes. Now what atheists will tell you, and I was talking to an atheist the other day, um, and also on the radio show, hold on, I gotta take this corner. You can you can talk to them and you can get them to slip up and admit there are absolutes. Like I I got these guys on the radio show to slip up, and uh, basically what I'll say to them I'll say, well, are you guys at your computer right now? Are you on a PC or a Mac? And they'll say, I'm on a PC, right? I go, you sure? And they're like, and then they figured out, you know, where I was going with them. I was tricking them to admit that they're on a PC, which is an absolute. They're not saying, well, I'm not sure. They're saying they're positive they're on a PC. So they do believe in absolutes. But here's the here's the thing about atheism, what it is. It's madness. Because then they'll say, well, we believe in certain absolutes, but not, here's the word, moral absolutes. It is interesting that anything that has to do with evil or good atheists will not want to get and make an opinion uh, opinion on that they won't want to judge it so what they'll say is well we don't believe in moral absolutes like what is good and what is evil they won't believe in that it's, it's just it's just hypocrisy it's madness atheism is 
I'll give you another example. My dad um, had been attacked by, we believe, like a demon or something. When I was an atheist, I was messing around, you know, with the Ouija board and stuff. I didn't believe in any stuff, anything like that. And I don't know, after I did that, um, all hell broke loose in our house that we used to live in. And um, my dad and my mom and my sister uh, were all getting attacked by like, uh, well, you can watch my dad's my video on my channel called My Dad Sees a Ghost where I actually interview my dad and he don't really care what people think. He, not, he doesn't have a channel to get subscribers. He's not into ego. He's just telling you the truth of how he got attacked, right? Well, these atheists, because they have to deny that demons could exist and stuff, they're so, like, stupid. They were saying, well, your dad probably saw a gas leak and all kinds of stuff. But this is what I mean, what atheism is. It's just, like, stupid. You know, it's like madness upon madness. Um, now, what happened, though, on the radio show was I was saying, well, then what was it? that attacked my dad and one of the guys it was like two guys on the radio show he's like well it could have been a demon and i was like oh my god i got him to say that and i also got someone in the chat room the other day to admit we got a chat room i got an atheist in the chat room the other day to admit yeah it could be a demon well wait a minute now wait a minute if the atheists are saying that yeah it could be a demon that attacked your your dad well then satan exists Satan exists. So, it was awesome the way I was able to, I don't know if they were just sleepy or whatever, but they slipped up and they did admit, these atheists, that Satan does, ex that uh, demons do exist. Now, one other thing too that um, I'll talk to you about, and this is more for like those of you that are talking to atheists, bless their sweet little hearts, and you're trying to bring them to the truth in Jesus Christ. It is very difficult for an atheist to come to Jesus Christ, and I'm gonna tell you why, me previously being a very stubborn atheist. Let's look what Jesus Christ said. He said, the heart of men have grown dull, and so they do not believe. They got dull hearts. So, what I have found is very successful uh, very effective and I've been very successful with it is if you can focus on the heart of the atheist because we do live in a hard cruel world and get that heart softened up a bit get it more compassionate and loving I'm sure when you think of loving and compassionate atheism is the last thing on your mind just look at uh, some of the filth on YouTube done by these atheist channels you can clearly see it is satanic um, well, if you're ever talking to an atheist, and here's what I, I'll tell them, they'll always want God to be proven to them. And what I'll do, and I only got a few more moments, I'll say, well, God is proven. It's proven to me, but then I have to educate the atheist. And if you're an atheist watching this, let me educate you a little bit on Christianity. Nowhere in Christianity does it say that I am required to prove to you about God. Nowhere in there. I'm just required to preach the Word of God. So, you know, I'm just, I don't want you to go to hell, but let me tell you, I don't lose like any sleep over the fact that you're rejecting Jesus Christ. So here's what I would ask those of you that are atheists. If you're, if you're acting like you really want the truth, ask, ask yourself this question. Are you truly seeking Jesus Christ with all your heart, soul, and mind? Well, you know the answer is no, because when I go to your channels, I see all types of filth and disrespectful things about God. You're like a bunch of hypocrites. Uh, so, if you really, truly want to go ahead and seek God, I'll give you a way you can do it. Um, you can go to Bible study. I challenge all free-thinking atheists like I was to be honest with yourself, and if you truly want evidence of God, well, don't be lazy, do the research. Click more info on the top right, go to shockonnow.net forward slash church, and educate yourself. God bless you guys.